So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here. It goes on to say, what is the positive solution to the given equation? The fact that it's asking for the positive solution means there must be one positive and one negative. Um, also of note, this is really the quadratic equation um, or the quad, yeah, the quadratic equation, just it's a little out of order. I need this negative 36 to be on this side of the equation so we can set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna do that to start off with. I'll have negative four x squared minus seven x plus 36 equals zero, right? We add 36 to both sides to get that to equal zero on the right-hand side. And then I can use a quadratic formula in order to actually solve this question. So the quadratic formula, if you don't remember, is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So for us, our a value is here at negative 4, our b value is here at negative 7, and our c value is here at 36. Again, this is coming from ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 as our generic quadratic equation. So all that's left for me to do is to start simplifying this, start plugging these numbers in where they belong. So again, negative b would become a positive 7 since b was negative 7 plus minus the square root. b squared, negative 7 times negative 7 is 49 minus 4 times a is negative 4 times c is 36 all over 2 times a is negative 4. All right, so let's simplify this even further. So I have x equals 7 plus minus square root 49. And then let's do some math here. So negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 16 times 36. Let's go to my calculator to figure that out. 16 times 36 is 576. So I end up with 49 plus 576 all over negative 8, right? Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then 49 plus 576 is 625. So I have x equals 7 plus minus square root 625 all over negative 8. And from here, I'm going to have two separate fractions. One is 7 plus, oh, so we can simplify this. The square root of, six, of 625 is actually equal to 25. So this becomes 7 plus 25 over negative 8. And the other would be 7 minus 25 over negative 8. So 7 plus 25 over negative 8. Let's go here for space. 7 plus 25 over negative 8 equals 32 over negative 8, which equals negative 4. So that is an answer, but it's obviously not the solution we're looking for because we're looking for the positive solution. So the other solution must be the negative one, 7 minus 25 over negative 8 which would equal negative 18 over negative 8. And of course, negative divided by negative makes these positives. And then this reduces down to 9 over 4. So the answer must be choice B.